I'm going to do an exercise for Wright Patterson Mahjong using the 2022 Green Book. This exercise is called Score This. We're going to practice scoring because in Wright Patterson Mahjong, everybody scores their hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. This is a game played at Mahjong time. Currently, Wright Patterson Mahjong is under development, so it hasn't been released yet. In the meantime, we're playing on Hong Kong Mahjong tables to practice. For this game, we have three players who are using Wright Patterson Mahjong rules, and one player is playing a Hong Kong Mahjong game, unknowingly that we're at a Wright Patterson Mahjong table. So that player is in West seat and they won the game. We're gonna score their hand as if they won a Wright Patterson Mahjong hand. So we can practice scoring. This is the winning hand by West, who was playing a Hong Kong Mahjong hand. So we're gonna pretend like this chow over here is concealed and they drew their winning tile because they're playing Peng Chow, which is in the sequence category and you have to draw your winning tile. So for the sake of practicing scoring, we're gonna say that they drew their winning tile. So we're going to just put that on top I guess we could put that on top for a concealed pung, and then we can arrange it so that the other players can validate the winning hand. So this would be pung chow. When you win, you don't get extra score for flowers. You just get the hand itself. These are bonus points for when you score, but for winning, you just get single, double, or triple limit. And in this case, this is a single limit hand. This is West, so they're going to get a single limit value here, which is a white chip or 500 points. This is East Seat, and they are playing Suzy Q. This is a number hand. As a reminder, West is prevailing, and this is East Seat. So player one, score this. They're going to get four points for each flower. So we'll put two fours up here, four, four. You don't get anything for a single tile. These are all exposed. We have a Kong of simples. On the rack is eight points. So we get eight points for that. A Pung of simples on the rack is two. So we'll get another two there. Then we have a Kong of Honors, 16. So these are all the points for this hand. So we have four here, here's eight, that's 16. 16 is 32 plus four, 36. So we can just push all these over and get a three. So we have 36 points. Now let's do the doubles. We don't get anything for the flowers. This is player one, West is prevailing. For doubles, we have mixed suits, all exposed pungs, kongs. We have a South, which is not our seat and it's not prevailing. We're in East and seat and west is prevailing so we don't get any double for that pung of honors but what we do get is ready to win on a double limit hand because all we need is a green dragon 
So ready to win on a double limit hand is two doubles. That's number L. So we could put a two there. 36 two times. That's 144. 144. But you round to the nearest 10. So that's 140. So this player gets 140. The reason their score is a little bit lower is because we have mixed suits and a non-value wind and non-value flowers. So it looks like a really great hand, and it is because we're ready to win on a double limit, but the value of the, com of the blocks is not good. But still, we'll get 140 points for this hand. And this is East, so remember, East pays double, but they also get paid double from the other players when they compare their score. This is South Seat. They have no flowers and no valued pungs of winds, so the prevailing wind won't apply here. It looks like they're trying for Betty. That's three pairs in one suit with one of each wind and dragon and then any honor paired. They're not ready to win, but they got close. Score this. You don't get anything for pairs of number tiles, but you do get score for a pair of dragons. Two. That's all they have. You can't double two. So even though they're cleared to one suit and honors, which is one double, that's number F, cleared to one suit and honors, one double. You cannot double a two or four. So they have zero. Even though it's pretty, zero points. This is North Seat. They were trying for hibiscus, which is a Chinese tea hand. They're not ready to win. They have a couple of flowers, and as a reminder, West is prevailing, and they're in North Seat. Score this. They're going to get four points each for their flowers. You don't get anything for single tiles. They do have east and west. You get two points for owner prevailing wind pairs. They have a pair of west, so they're going to get two points for that. That's prevailing. And these are exposed. So for an exposed pung of simples, they're going to get two points there. And then for an exposed pung of Dragons, they're going to get four. So they have 12, 16 points. So we can put those up there, and then we can get a 16 out. So 16 points, and now we'll go on to doubles. They don't get any doubles for their flowers. They have mixed suits. If they had just swapped this out for a crack, they could have gotten one suit in honors, but not sure what they were going for there. Maybe they were considering a hand of honors at one point, but by just swapping this out for score, if this were a crack, they could have gotten another double for one suit in honors. In this case, they don't have that, but they do have a pung of dragons, so you, they get a double there. So we have... 16 with just one double. And that's going to be 32 points. You round to the nearest 10, so they have 30 points. As a reminder, 
the winner always gets paid first. For single limits, you get 500, double limits, you get 1,000, and triple limits, you get 1,500. East always pays and receives double. The scoring limits for East is 1,000, and for others, 500. West won a single limit hand, so East owes them 500, doubled, which is 1,000. South owes them 500, and so does North. South owes East 140 doubled, which is 280. South owes North 30. North owes East 140 less 30, which is 110 doubled for 220. Wright Patterson Mahjong is played in three phases. The first phase is when you get your dealt hand and you do the Charleston. You're gathering tiles to support the strength of your hand. The second phase is when you pick and discard one tile at a time and hopefully you're filling in the gaps and building your hand and hopefully you'll win. The third phase of the game is when you score your hand, whether you win or lose. You may or may not get paid. So practicing with scoring is important because you want to get what's due after all that hard work. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.